moms like girl i'm giving you all the life you need to get it all done bags of clothes to donate over to once upon a child or the top ready Wait, what is this? And i got this on wayfair for 17.99 fall vibes i love it like i'm just thinking about all the different ways i can So come and make me feel different. In the mail, easy lunch boxes. This on Amazon. Don't hold back. Oh, your little drama got me mad. And good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's video is going to be packed with so much motivation for you, moms. Like, girl, I'm giving you all the life you need to get it all done. So to start my day bright and early, I think it's like nine after nine now, like nine thirty, maybe ten. I'm not entirely sure, but it's somewhere around there. Uh, the babies are at daycare. This is Elizabeth's last week at daycare, and then she's officially a kindergartner, which I'm super excited about for her. But our first stop is going to be to Once Upon a Child. I just recently learned over the weekend at Once Upon a Child that if you donate your clothes to them, that they pay you. I didn't know that. No Nobody told me. I'm so not I'm so not impressed. Nobody told me. I'm gonna get into the store. I have two bags of donations to make and hopefully I get something for it. I just finished all the kids back to school shopping this past weekend and I've started to declutter and organize their bedroom. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm expecting a package from Amazon today um, to help me organize their closet because all my kids share a room, which is totally fine because they prefer to sleep together in the same space because they can't do it by themselves so it's completely fine so i'm gonna go ahead and go into once upon a child take you guys with me and i'll let you know how much we get then we're gonna head home we have a couple more stops to make and i'll take you guys along okay so guys this is one bag and another bag both bags are full i just decluttered all the kids stuff a lot of it is alaya stuff she's getting bigger and we aren't planning to have more kids so i'm getting rid of a lot of our baby stuff Look, look, look. Why did you guys never tell me? Why did nobody ever tell me? Look at the receipt, guys. It's so long. Anyways. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm done with that. And then we did a little bit of a haul. Your cycle reuse. Happy about it. So, I want to give you guys a quick haul from Dollarama and then one from Dollar Tree. So, I found these at Dollarama. I've never used them before. But I feel like... I've seen them already. So this is just Parmesan cheese pasta roni. I'm going to make this for dinner tonight with chicken. I thought the meal on here just looks so perfect. Um, so I'm going to make those for, for dinner later. I got some Comet bleach because I need to clean my bathtub. And I wanted to have this around the house because spray bleach is not always... I feel like this is just something... A good thing to have in the house I got these candles from the dollar store because I have two candle holders and I wanted to just for fall I wanted to add a little bit more decor to it they didn't have white and I got gray which I feel like the gray will go with the blues so it should be fine I got this because I'm gonna be doing a DIY on my headboard I think I've mentioned this in a couple videos ago and I ran out of clear glue gun sticks so I needed to pick up pick up a pack of that it was two bucks I found this also at Dollarama, which I just thought, you know, this could go absolutely anywhere. And it was $1.75. Y'all, super cute. For my tear tray or even on my table centerpiece, I'm not sure yet. And I found this Hello Fall sign, which is really cute. It goes with my Buffalo Check theme. So I thought just a necessity to have. And then I got these two items, again, for one of my crafts I'm going to do. My gather sign that I purchased at Dollar Tree, I'm going to paint the letters black. And I needed paintbrushes to do that because I didn't have any. And then I found this at Dollar Rama, And it was $3.75. And I want to actually put it on my my center my centerpiece for my table. I'm going to use this as one of the items. It's, it's not a tear tray, but it's like a spinning tray. And I, I figured that would be good. And I'd probably put something in the top. Um, and then I found this. So if you guys recall, in my last video, I went to Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree had these in very small sizes. So when I went to Dollarama, I saw this in a large size. And I was like, that would be perfect for my spinning my spinning decor. I don't even know what it's called. Can somebody comment down below and tell me what it's called? I'm going to show you. This is what I'm talking about, guys. I don't know what to call this. 
but it spins and this is what I have on my table and it works well because if I want to, the kids don't touch it and they, well, they spin it, but it's not really a big deal, but I'm not sure what it's called. So <laughs> let me know if you know what it's called. And then I also got some Febreze apple cider. I love this. Every season this comes out, I, I get one from, so I just picked up one. I'll probably get a couple more later. Um, and then I found these at Dollarama also. These are $3 and these are the, the blue pumpkins. Like they're like a silvery dark blue pumpkin, which is perfect because you guys will see once I decorate what I'm talking about. And then over here, I'll show you guys some of the stuff I got from Dollar Tree. If I haven't already showed you my tear tray, guys, it came in. I got this on Wayfair for $17.99. It was such a deal. It did come like kind of beat up. And I actually just used a tiny piece of sandpaper and I just rubbed it out. So it's super smooth now. And once I decorate, I don't think you'll even notice. And I know coming from Wayfair, it probably shouldn't be damaged. But $17.99, come on, like it's, you know anyways so this i got from dollar tree fall vibes i love it like i'm just thinking about all the different ways i can decorate my tear tree and i'm just so excited and i got my um plaid pumpkins which i wanted i got this sign that says cinnamon meal and cinnamon mealed wine which i thought was fun for fall and then i got this sign that says happy fall y'all and i just love the colors on the truck like the oranges and the greens but a lot of my decor this year is black and I went with black, one, because I have four kids, and two, because I just love pops of black. So I got these for my my table settings, and you guys will actually see I have some, what are they called? They're not chargers. I think they're called chargers, the thing that goes on top of it. Anyways, it's a whole theme you guys will get to see soon, so stay tuned for that. I wanted to show you guys what I did over the weekend. Today is Monday, by the way. I'm so bad at like telling you guys the day I'm on. But today is Monday, guys. And this is what I did on the weekend. Like I got, went through my kid's closet. And that's why I had the two bags of clothes to donate over to Once Upon a Child. Because I literally sorted through all their stuff from last year. A lot of the stuff I got rid of with baby stuff. Seeing that we're not having any more kids. Or we decided we don't want to have any more kids. Um, I got rid of all of our baby stuff. So car seats, wraps, all that jazz donated all of that so that was a big chunk of it a lot of shoes that are grown out of or just they don't wear anymore things that they don't touch things they haven't used in months whatever it is I got rid of it so this is just a mess from my kids these are their dresses that were down in their bins and I just have to hang them up but they're just there for now and then these originally you can see the bin I keep their school clothes in these two bins but it's not been working for me because the bins break down very easily and I, it just annoys me so bad. So I purchased a organizing rack from Amazon that should be coming today. And I'm going to be putting all of these up in the closet so my kids can't touch them anymore. And that way they can stay organized. <laughs> I picked this up at Dollarama and I forgot to show it to you guys because it was on top of the microwave. But I got this storage bin and I've never seen this size. I got it from Dollarama. It was $4.25. I'm gonna I bought it because in my cupboard of hair, it's like the kids' shelf with the coffee cups, sorta, because we don't really have a lot of coffee cups, so we don't use that many. But this contraction thing of a jigger right here. Every single time I open this cupboard, something falls out on me. So I, when I saw the bigger one, you can see the difference in the size. When I saw the bigger one, I was like, oh my God, it's perfect. And then I never, I haven't tested this out. So let's go. I was going hoping for the best, but oh, it fits, it fits, it fits. Yes. So now there's like almost no space up there, which means nothing is going to fall on me. So I'm going to switch that out and clean it up. I've been just in the mood lately guys to declutter like I shared with you guys earlier I just went through my kids clothes and decluttered this generally happens to me right before school starts or any kind of big season change and for me right now after getting my kids situated I'm kind of just having like this I want to get my whole house situated and then with doing these lids up in my cupboard I cannot tell you the last time I actually decluttered like my kitchen and I'm just thinking in my head maybe that is a series that I should do on my channel just kind of afford home organization for large family or even just like for a small space tell me if that's something that you guys would be interested in because i am i have the itch to do it and i think it's something that i actually really want to do 
Papa's home. And Come. look what is here. I'm so excited. No. They're here. No. They're here. Okay, we gotta go in now. No. Come on. Mom, what are those? My backpack and my water bottle? <laughs> no, baby. All right, come on. Come on. Here you go. Put this inside. Hey, gotta put this in. No. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on. This is my last guy. She's obsessed with pressing the elevator button. No. Yes. So guys, I'm going to put you on this. Pasteroni was lit. It wasn't hard to make. I followed the instructions um, on the back. And all I did was do it the recipe three times in the pot because I had three boxes. It wasn't hard. And for me, somebody who tends to burn this kind of thing, I was really impressed with how easy it was to make. And it tasted so good. My kids loved it. My husband loved it. He took it for lunch today. Girl, if you have not tried this, I highly recommend it. So I'll show you guys the chicken is finished. Woo! Did you guys see? Woo! Did you guys see that steam? Shame on me. Chicken looks so good. Woo! I'm just gonna leave it in here until this pasta is finished, but the chicken is done. And I'm just working on the pastaroni now. So far, so good. I never really do well with these types of things. Usually, I burn them or. I just messed them up somehow but so far it seems pretty basic and i'm stirring and it's cooking and it looks good and it smells great too dinner is almost ready but i just gave alea a bath i took a break in between and gave her a quick bath um i tend to do this because it's almost seven o'clock and i like to shower her make sure everybody's showered by seven just because that's wind down time whether or not they're they're eating late which they are because i made the fried chicken and it took a little bit longer than i planned but such is life it's gonna be good and it's gonna be great. And my babies are gonna be happy. So that's all that matters. Um, so now that this pasta is almost done, I'm scared to leave it because I don't want to burn it. But I have to give Elizabeth a bath and make sure she's set. And the other two big kids give themselves showers. So I gotta make sure they do that because it is a hot day. And I gotta make sure everybody is situated. So I will show you guys when we are done that because I'm not, guys, I'm not gonna show me bathing my babies, but I'll show you guys when we're done. Dinner is ready, guys. It turned out so good. Chicken is finished, and I'm gonna add some grapes to this for the kids. And I'm gonna share out dinner now. Amazon packages that came. I wanted to open them with you guys quickly before I close out the vlog so I can show you guys what I got. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Kidding does this with one hand all the time and I never know how. Hold on. So this is what came, guys. The kids' lunch boxes came. So I remember I had said it was in the mail, easy lunch boxes. This on Amazon. It was $19.99, I believe. And there's four in there. And I can always rotate them between the kids and I love that easy and I plan to get another set at some point so I can just kind of collect them and have more 
that is I'm so excited about that and then these guys for the DIY for my bed if you can guess you can see those I'm so excited these came these are super cheap they're $11.99 as well and then this is what I was telling you guys about I'm not gonna take it out of the box now but that is the organizer for the room so I just took off my glasses to talk to you because the lighting is so bad it is later in the day so I just wanted to close out the vlog because I have been really bad at closing out my vlogs. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. And like I say, if you're feeling my vibe and you're not subscribed, please go ahead and smash the subscribe button and join my fam. I would be happy to have you. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you are still here, you are the bomb.com. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.